Thank you so much for joining. So uh, we're Mark and Valerie. We're at my home and uh, we do videos here on Amazon. We do live streams and we review home tech products, smart home tech and other tech, fun tech, kitchen tech, anything, a tech tech. <laughs> All sorts of tech. <laughs> but this is part two of our holiday gift guide. Yes, right? this is part two of our holiday gift guide. But before we get started, so if you're just joining us uh, here today, thank you so much for joining. And please hit the follow button so you can find out the next time we do a live stream. So uh, we're tech reviewers. We do videos here. Mark is the engineer. I'm the normal human being who has to use the stuff. Uh, so these are products um, that we share here are products that we use in our own home and we test. Uh, so uh, let me show you a little bit here. If you see on the screen right now. I got the follow button up there. There is the follow button. So if you could hit that follow button, we'd really appreciate it. Um, and while we're here, if you see that little thing under our name uh, at my home where it says view storefront, why don't you click on that, Mark? All right, let's bring up the storefront. All right, there we go. That's the storefront. So this is our storefront, and here you can see this is kind of the main screen where you can see, you know, our past live streams. We did a holiday gift guide first edition last week. Uh, and then you can also see uh, some of the things that we recommend as well as some of the videos that we've done. So uh, we've been doing these videos and uploading them to Amazon for a couple of years now. So for some reason, they reordered them today and they put them in kind of the backwards order. <laughs> so some of these videos you see here are videos that we did quite a while ago, um, but these are all still products that are for sale on Amazon. So let me show you a couple things. So first of all, you can click on view all my past live streams, which you probably are seeing right now on, on your screen. Um, and then you have what's called idea lists. So we group things together as we kind of review things or we find products we really like. We'll put them in different categories. So for example, today, this is the holiday gift guide part two showcase. And we put all the, all the ones that are hitting in that carousel underneath our video are also here in the, uh, in the shopping page. So if you're not watching the stream anymore or later on you decide to, you want to go and, and see what we have, you know, just bookmark it and you can go there and you can grab the products right from this holiday gift guide. And then, um, we actually have the full list from our holiday gift guide also listed here. And again, you can go through and see everything with stuff from last week as well as this week. And um, and then you can also look at the videos. So now you can go just to the videos and look at those. And you can scroll through the many videos. And I have no idea how they're organizing them anymore. But um, this that one just popped up, the Air Things one. Oh, look at that. Interesting. That's interesting. Well, yesterday they were in kind of reverse chronological order. So you would have seen the last video we uploaded. Yeah. Uh, but they seem to change them around. But so a lot of the devices that we're going to show you today, we have done videos for Amazon in the past. So if you really want to get more in depth on any of the products we're, we can, we're going to show you, you can go through there and you can see our videos. Uh, a lot of times too, if you're on the product page for the device itself, Amazon will suggest one of our videos as something that you want to see while you're there. So that's a good way to find out more information about all these different products. All right. So it's, let me see, I want to do one more thing here. Um, make sure I can watch what's going on for comments as well, because you guys, if you make comments, we see them on our screen, just like you do when you type them in. So uh, please feel free to uh, ask any questions and we'll pick it up and, and try to give you the right answer. All right. Or an answer anyway. And um, <laughs> we'll and then right this, the carousel, I think you mentioned about the carousel where you can kind of Select yep. So products. when when we're going through the products today, I'll move them around in the carousel and I'll highlight the one we're talking about. Now, depending on how you're watching us, if you're watching us on your phone or your our computer, uh, we might be the carousel might be under us or it might be on the side, one of the sides. Uh, so that that will be where you'll see the products we're going to talk about. So um, you know, as I mentioned, this is part two of our holiday gift guide. Now we've been doing holiday gift guides uh, since 2014, which is kind of crazy. Really? Yes. Wow. 2014 was our very first smart home holiday I was gift only, guide. I was only 21 when we started. Oh, I, I was a child. Yeah, only, okay. maybe I was 30. I guess. Smart home stuff really aged us. Uh, but anyway, yeah. so we've been doing these gift guides for a long time. And it's really interesting to me to see how things have changed over that time. So we started off really smart home focused. You know, I think we had the Nest thermostat. Um, we had uh, some, you know, some well, of the, the light, first. The Hue light bulbs that are up in the ceiling here. The Hue light bulbs that we're still using. So, you know, a lot of that's funny because a lot of those products we actually are still using in our home. Um, but some of them have really changed. And especially when we talk about smart plugs, that's really interesting to me how those have changed over the years. But this, you know, as we've uh, changed, you know, as we've 
reviewed more tech and as smart home has become more mainstream, we've started adding more and more, uh, you know, other technology products into our gift guides that aren't necessarily, you know, quote unquote, smart home, controlling your home, but fun things. So the last, uh, the last uh, gift guide presentation we did last week last week our last live stream we talked about things for the home and the kitchen uh and entertainment so if those are things you're interested in please go back and watch that live stream you can also see our whole gift uh our gift recommendation lists on the idea list that we showed you before but today we're going to talk about smart home uh, focused uh, gifts. Now, these are what we kind of call beginner smart home things because you don't really want to get a gift for someone that's too complex. So we have tried lots and lots of smart home brands over the years, and these are ones that we really think are easy to use, easy to get started with, really reliable, and that they have some staying power. So that's what we're going to share with you today. And I don't think anything we're showing today requires wiring. No. No. Right? No. Okay. So, you know, we have hardwired a lot of things in our house, you know, taking out switches and, and outlets, but we're not recommending anything like that today. These are all things that you can just plug into an outlet. You can plug over a, you can put it over a, an existing switch. Uh, you can hook it up to your hose. Like the first thing we're going to talk about here, the Orbit Beehive. So these are all very easy to install, very easy to set up, easy to use apps. Uh, most everything only requires a uh, Wi-Fi connection. And there will be some exceptions to that, and we'll share those when we get to and it. And it's now 4.09. We have a bunch of people here waiting. All right, so we're going to gonna get we to the meat. Uh, but as Mark said, please jump in and ask any questions while we go through these things. So the first thing that we're showing you here, uh, this is for the gardeners in your life, uh, people who want to control. An... I don't think it's uh, registered. Do you do? It's there. There. Oh, there, oh, it there it is. Yeah, it so this is the Orbit Beehive. So these are for the people who love to water their plants and love to take care of their garden, but maybe they don't have a, a full-on, professionally installed sprinkler system, uh, but they still want to be able to control their watering. So this is the Beehive XD. Yep. So this is kind of cool. So this thing just, you know, attaches from here to your spigot outside your hose right? your, well no not your hose your, well, your hose bib this hose bib yeah hose you know that bib. thing with a handle on it so <laughs> you hook this on one end and then they make it with either one two or four spigots coming out so you can get really complicated you could have like four hoses going out to different places uh and you can also run it manually so the hopefully i don't know if you can see this thing but you can actually uh, as you see there's a whole front panel control so i can actually control this whole thing manually so if you're out in the yard and like for example we have uh one hooked up to a hose all the time for our uh, fountain to fill up and then the other one we have there in case you want to do something you know with a with a hose right so when we're outside i can go in here manually and tell it to run the hose right but the other one is automated so on the automated one you can actually go in there and set up a whole watering schedule if you want you can also do smart watering which is cool because it looks at the local uh, weather and can determine whether or not it should turn on or off. Because if it's raining out, you probably don't need to, to water your lawn or your garden or whatever you're doing, right? Now, this thing here is Bluetooth, all right? But what's important is it needs one of these. Well, it doesn't have to have one of these. You can actually talk to Bluetooth, but if you're like us, this is never close enough to our phone. <laughs> so they give you what's called a hub. And this hub converts Bluetooth from here uh, to Wi-Fi. So then you can get to it anywhere, which means anywhere, not just in your home, right? So this just plugs into a wall socket. It's pretty straightforward. And you hook that up. And then this thing, you uh, hook into the app. Matter of fact, I can show you the app really quick. And this is really neat because you, know, you can have different types of plants. You know, if you have one hose hooked up to water your flowers, another hose hooked up to water your lawn, you can set different uh, different routines and different uh, different smart watering routines in this Beehive app. And you can automate it that way. Yeah, so it's kind of cool. So I think I got the right one up there. Okay, great. So it's kind of cool, right? Because you got this app and you go in here and you can set up programs. So you can go in here or you can say smart watering and you can set up the watering zones. Like we have the courtyard fountain in zone two. Zone two, very catchy name. Just means I didn't put a hose to it, right? And oh, by the way, uh, one thing I want to say before I forget. This little device here is a vacuum breaker that you probably have in your house or whatever else. You need to make sure that whatever you attach here, always put one of these on here. It prevents the backflow of water. Uh, so 
You so need if you're these buying each this one. As a gift, you might want to pick up those a couple in. of these little guys. Uh, you can find them at the local hardware store, or actually they have some on Amazon. So um, just make sure you have one of those. So that's what the device is here. And uh, so we got the two zones. You can see it's got suggested start time or whatever. So you can do that. Or you can set up a, a schedule if you want. You can come in here and you can say, oh, I want to make a new schedule. And you can say basic program. And it goes through. You give it a name. We'll just say test here. And um, return. And then next. Then you can add a start time and so forth. So you go build your uh, schedule up. And I'm not going to go finish this one here. But the other cool thing, that's what I like about it, is they have these zones. So you have the zones, the two different zones, and you can actually take a picture. I didn't do it, but you can put a picture of what the zone looks like. And then you can say, oh, I want to go off and run the zone manually. So now I can come in here and I can say test. And I can say how long I want it for. I can adjust the time, which is kind of cool. And then I just say how long, and I say go, and it's going to run. So if you're out in the yard, you want to run this, run it, you can be there and do it right there while you're watching just from your phone. And what you'll see when I hit test and hit go, what should happen is this thing should click. Is it on? Yep, it's on. Yep. Oop. And it just did it. This just click. And it will actually run the run the zone. Oh, so the let me light's see. on. What light's on? Oh, there's no light. Never mind. No, it's reflections. It's a reflection. Gear up. <laughs> so let me plug this in over here before I forget. Okay. Um so you can set up the zones, anything you want. Set up zone two, come in here, and say go. And then what it'll do is it'll open the valve on this on this unit. And when you're done, you can just say stop. And when you hit stop, hear the click, oh, it, turned, click. it turned it off. It turned right? it off. It turned it off. So, no. so this, is a, this is a really great gift for uh, gardeners in your life. It, you know, it doesn't... They don't have to get so sophisticated with it. They can get very sophisticated and set up smart watering routines. Clicked again because I hit the uh, They can button. even just run it manually, but it's really nice to be able to have a timer on your hose so you can turn it on and off. And uh, I don't know if you've ever left your hose on when you thought you know you needed to leave it out there watering, but this really ensures that you're you know you're it helps you not waste water. It helps you. Uh, get exactly the kind of the exactly the amount of water that you need, depending on what you're watering in your yard. So uh, it's winter now, at least here. Uh, but this is a great gift for people who love to garden and who want to make it more efficient. Okay, so that's the that is the that. Beehive XD. So if you're just joining us, we're talking about some of our favorite smart home holiday gift ideas uh, for for this season, and uh, we're going to move on now to this is another one of our very favorite. Smart home products. And I got three boxes with me. I didn't realize we had three different boxes. It's three different things. You know, they send us these things to go check out. And at first we're like, uh, huh? But, you know, if you're someone that doesn't like to mess with wiring, because a lot of smart switches, you know, you got to take the, 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 the socket, you know, the switch out of the wall. You got to do the wires. It's really confusing, especially if it's three-way. It's really confusing. Well, and plus, These you, are cool. you know, you have to mess with hot wires, so. Well, yeah, we use the electrical wires or hot yeah, wires. I mean, so. you know, so. Not a lot of people are comfortable with that. Right. And frankly, if you're not comfortable, you should hire an electrician. Yeah. But you don't need an electrician for this switch. And the cool thing is if you're, you know, like an apartment or dorm room or wherever, you can automate the switches because it just, you know, the screws that hold that wall plate onto the switch, you just take out those screws they give you some parts you put on there, and then this thing just snaps onto the wall plate. And what it does is, if you look in the back here, I think I can get that up to you. There's a little, I'm going to press the button here if I don't get my finger caught in there. And you see what it's doing? It's moving that little shuttle back and forth. So imagine that's your finger pushing the switch. So it slides the switch one or the other. And it works with both the rocker and the toggle switches. You know, the one, the little, the little one here. Or the one that's like a paddle, right? It works with both. I know, kind of funny. You know, thing. <laughs> I'm a poor, uh, you know, imitator of wall switches, but it, it's cool. It just easily changes, and that's it. And you just do it, and that's it's, all it takes. It's really neat. So this is a really easy way to automate any kind of switch that you have in your house that has a toggle or a rocker. Yeah. And uh, it, this is great for um, you know people in their dorm room or in their apartment where they can't change anything out, or you know maybe you just have the switch that. You want to automate, but uh, it's difficult to automate. It's hard. Well, 
it looks identical to that switch. So we use ours on See? our... It's the same. Ooh, it's the same. We use ours on our fireplace because we have a fire a gas fireplace where you can put the switch on. And so we just have this on the wall. So if we want to turn it on or off, we can ask um, our Amazon Echo to do that for us. And it's really nice because we don't have to get up and flip the switch. And that is a difficult thing to automate. So, uh, and we have a timer on it, so it automatically shuts off. So the... Um, the cool thing here is that we've got these batteries that come with it, so that you don't even have to buy batteries. So they're like the two AAA AAA batteries. So that's cool. And these are the little things I was telling you about. I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but they're like a, you know, like a corrugated. Let's see if I can get it up there close. That little thing there, just you put a, you put the screw from the wall plate through here, and then that sits on the plate, and then this just snaps onto that piece, and it's that easy. It's yeah. pretty straightforward. You can see the. The cutouts here for where they go and they have it measured in two different spots so it, it's really easy it's really easy so we're showing these two here are the bluetooth version and the zigbee version yeah right? and these are made by a company called third reality we have a lot of their products they're really good really solid we've been using these for a few years and you'll see actually in the description that's i think it's called made for amazon the beat the um the Bluetooth and the Zigbee versions of these switches. And, uh, you know, they make a lot of products for Amazon. It says made for Amazon right on the box. Um, but Third Reality also has their own app. You don't need to use this with the Amazon Echo unless you want to. Ah, uh, but if you get their app, you have to get their hub. Yeah, that's true. You get their hub. So they make, they do make a hub. And uh, we looked before the show and it's currently not available. I suspect they're out of stock right now, but you don't need it. You can hook this up. You can hook this up ways. to uh, Amazon Echo. You can use it with a Google Assistant. Now that's for the BLE version, and um, but they also make one that is the Zigbee version. So you know, on the BLE version, I'm trying to remember. I think I wrote down what the which which of the Echoes have Bluetooth, but most of the Amazon uh, devices, I think, smart you know the the lady there um, have the uh, have Bluetooth. But the um, thing is, you might have some someone that has a smart home hub, like a like a smart things hub or whatever else, or if you happen to have this guy back here, we're going to talk about this later, the Echo Show 10, it has Zigbee built in as well, so it will work with that. So you don't have to get the, the uh, third reality hub. It'll work with those uh, Amazon devices. Yeah, so for the most part, if you have, if you, if the person on your list has a phone, they can use the BLE one, right? Yeah, but they still have to hook it up through They this. still have to hook it up. So... Now, the other thing so is... So it's important to read all of the, uh, all the installed directions. Make sure that you're buying something that is compatible. Another good way to do that is to bundle this with the appropriate uh, device that is compatible with it for the person on your list. Now, if this you're not someone that... Mobile. Yeah, so if you're not someone that wants to do Zigbee or Bluetooth or whatever, um, they also make a very simple switch, which is... A timer switch. So this thing does it. What? What are the numbers? Like? But basically, you can set different time, and when when it'll go on, it'll go off, right? Like one minute, five minute, ten minute, fifteen right. minute. So you know, if you have something like, for example, Valerie mentioned about turning a fireplace on or something else that you want to like, let's say you have a, a porch light, you only want it to go on for an hour in the evening or something. You you know, when you you, you go over there, you kind of turn on the switch, and then you don't want to forget about it before you go to bed. Well, you can set the timer on here manually and then you press the button it'll flip the switch and then it'll do the timer and turn it off so there's no you know bluetooth or anything involved it's just the switch right now if you do have one of their hubs you can hook it up to their app as well and it gives you some more options but to us i think this one here really represents what you get if you don't want to do any automation per se other than just at the switch so they make three different switches and they're all they all look the same they all operate the same. They all come with the batteries. So pretty nice. It's yeah. pretty straightforward. So these, are really, these are really great products, and it's a really easy way to automate a switch without having to do any wiring. And I'm, am I forgetting anything here on these things? Let's see. I think we talked about it. We've got one that works with Zigbee, one that works with Bluetooth, and one that's just a timer switch, right? Yep. And these are all down in the carousel. Oh, I'm look. highlighting the timer switch one. I never right thought now. of showing the directions, but look no. at this. Uh, see if you can see this. See how it hooks up to the wall plate? It's just a little, the little uh, things you screw into the, into the screws of the wall plate. So, if you can handle a screwdriver, you can install this. So that's pretty cool. All right. All right. So that's that. So that's next. Okay. So now you know if you automate your switch, that's one thing. But you know, a lot of people like to automate different appliances or 
set things on a timer. Maybe you want to plug in a lamp and set it on a timer. Maybe you want to plug in a lamp so then you can ask um, your Echo to, or your <laughs> Google Assistant to turn it on for you. And the easiest way to do that uh, is with a smart plug. A smart plug. A smart plug. A smart plug. So we're going to talk about a few different brands of smart plugs. These are, like I said before, these are all products that we've used and tested. They are, have good, solid, reliable apps. They're easy to use, and they pair up with a compatible Amazon. Well, actually, they pair up with an Amazon Echo or a Google Assistant, so they're really easy to use. They make great stocking stuffers or great gifts for anyone who wants to have a little bit more control of something in their house. Yeah, and these are nice. But they work with a Wise app, so you got to have the Wise well, app. This is the Wise plug. This is the Wise one. But there's a button on the side, so you can manually turn it on and off. It handles a 15 amp circuit. Um, so I don't know what's the wattage. Did I, did I write down how what the wattage was on that one? The wattage is 15 amp, 110 volts. Yeah, I didn't write down. I I don't know if these are. I'd have to look back at the specs, but I think it's 1500 watts of power it can handle. So, but you should confirm that. And whenever you get any of these smart plugs. Check to see what kind of load it can handle because not all of them handle every load. Like if you've got something with a motor in it, a lot of time these things aren't made for things with motors, right? Especially heavy motors. So be Don't careful. Don't put this that. on your washing machine or your refrigerator. Yes, it would not be smart. <laughs> so this one's that's the indoor one, right? So this is the indoor plug, and it's that time of year again. So this is also a great way to automate your Christmas tree oh, yes. lights. Oh yeah, or the you outdoor. Just, yeah, you not plug it. Lights. You plug it in, and then you just say. Um, Hey, oh, just, hey, Echo, or whatever you call it, that thing we're trying not to say, uh, turn on the Christmas it's tree. It's easy. You just say, Alexa, turn on Christmas tree. And she does. But in this case, she's not going to do she's it. She's not listening. Alexa, turn on Christmas tree. And this, the, the <laughs> plug's already in downstairs, so she just did it. And then listen again. Alexa, turn off Christmas tree. So that's it. It's, yeah. that, it's that easy. So this is really easy to use for that or for anything else you want to turn on and off. And they have one for the outdoors. They also have one for outdoor use. All right. The Wise Plug Outdoor. Wise Plug Outdoor. So it's got this little thing, you you know, plug it into your one of those boxes outside and you just let it dangle down. You can get like, they have like a screw with it. You can kind of anchor it down. But it's got two buttons, one for one outlet, one for the other outlet. So you can do it manually or... Just like we did with the Christmas tree uh, indoor one, you can also name these each outlet, and you can say turn on outdoor outlet one or out outlet two, or if it happens to be your Christmas lights outdoors, you can say outdoor Christmas lights. But they have these little rubber seals over the outlets, and you got you have two outlets, so that's pretty nice, and it's pretty pretty nice. It seems to be pretty well built, and um, it works again with the Wise app. So just have the Wise app, and you're all set. And uh, you can use one or both of the plugs. And I, this is that time of year, too. These work great for your holiday outdoor lights. You can put them on a timer, and uh, you can run them with your phone or run them with your smart speaker. And I just want to thank Kimberly for joining us and for following us. Thank you so much for following. All right. And if you're joining us for the first time, we're talking about our smart home holiday gift ideas. And while you're here, if you're new, please click that follow button so that you can find out the next time we do a live stream. Hey, you know... Um, the, uh, I was going to show the little part here. It, it, it's interesting whenever we do the reviews. I don't think we ever show this per se, but they give you the, a screw to put through this thing. Or I'm going to pick it up here. But this one does energy monitoring, I believe, right? Yeah. So you can actually see how much power you're using on those outdoor Christmas lights or outdoor whatever you happen to have to. But they give the screw that fits through here. And the reason for this little tab is that when you mount this outside, you don't necessarily want it to be just dangling. So what you can do is you can take this little clamp here and you can put this onto the onto the wire and then this screw that onto the wall so that it, it stays in one place. All right. So that's I know that's like a small thing, but it's a big deal because, you know, you don't want it all waving around everything in the wind or whatever else. Yeah. So, so it's kind of nice to give you everything you need there. And oh, it's thanks. super easy to install in the Wise app. You just open the app, press the plus key. You find this thing in their little list and then say install and it's done. So, yeah. And Kimberly is from Kansas. So hello from Kansas. Well, hello, Kimberly. It's a lot more winter there than we have here in California. Oh, wait a minute. I'm curious. So you have real winter. Is it winter yet? <laughs> it's kind of winter here, as much winter as we get. It's been in the 50s and 60s. It's not bad. Not, it's not bad. bad. So um, I used to live in upstate New York and... Uh, 
we'd get winter about right now. <laughs> so, um, but it's dark it's right cold. out, dark out now. So you, maybe you have your Christmas lights on already, Kimberly. We haven't put anything up. So yet. that's kind of cool, we right? We have to put up our penguins. Oh, that's right. You like penguins. Don't mm -hmm. you? Yeah. you should have put penguins in the Christmas catalog. Well, maybe next time. Maybe they have smart penguins. I haven't seen. Well, we do have a smart yeah. penguin. Yep. So that's the wise thing. Keep in mind that, you know, wise makes uh, some uh, other things as well. We're going to show them tonight, but these all work together in the wise app, which is kind of well, cool. And the other thing you can use this for is if you have gigantic blow up penguins and you need to keep them, <laughs> you know, on a timer. I should have put up, put up a, a, a picture of what they look like. <laughs> it was going to be cool. So, yeah, so that's the, that's the outdoor plug. I don't know why, I don't know why I'm putting it oh back in the, the, is it what? 21 degrees. Wow. That's real winter. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. So you got a farm. That's cool. So is it like now is the time when you kind of like get everything cleaned up for the next season? I don't know. How does that work at this time of year? Or you just relax? I don't know. <laughs> All right. So that's the wise plugs. Any questions on that before we run? I don't see anything coming through. Um, what else we got here? So that we went through both those. We right? went through both of the wise plugs, the indoor and the outdoor. So those work really good. So we're going to move on right now. If you're just joining us, we are talking about our smart home holiday gift ideas. So these are easy to use smart home products for folks on your list. And now we're going to talk about the Casa smart plugs. So get this. I bought a box of four. Oh, a box of four. Well, see. So actually, can... did I buy them? Or they... Actually, this Casa may have sent me the, sent us these for review. I, I don't remember. I'd have to go back and look. But... The um, I've got one already in use in the house. Well, and, uh, this is this goes to show you that you can always use smart plugs, and everybody on your list can use. I don't them. know. We use them all the time. We use them all the time. Well. So let me close the box up here. Um, but these are kind of nice because they're Wi-Fi, but they also work with Apple's HomeKit. So if you're someone like us with an iPhone and you do Apple HomeKit things, this will work with Apple HomeKit. But it also works with Wi-Fi. So let me show you here the app. And the other thing about these is that they're pretty slim. These are called the Wi-Fi Plug Slim. Uh, but this is their small. Um, it's hard to really see. But, you know, when we first got our very first smart plugs that are were in our very first Smart Home Holiday Gift Guide, they covered up the whole outlet. So basically you were making one outlet smart and taking away the other, the other one, you couldn't even plug anything into it. But these, you're right. These, these are stack. nice and small, and so you can have two on the same outlet. Only if I can open the box. If you can open up. the box. Um, this is a four a four pack, but they come in one, two. I think packs. I think I wrote it down. Like one, two, and four, right? Yep. So, but take a look. You know the the um, you know it depends what you need. I guarantee you. You know it's sometimes worth it getting in, in the multi pack. So you get it, but see it. It well, stacks up. A, these are also 15 amps. Yes. And, max yeah. load, 1800 watts. So 1800 watts or 1875? This is 1800. 1800 watts of power. Oh, so that's pretty good. Box. You think it tells in the box? That's cool. Maybe. I'll All right. So here it is. This is like what two looks like, and they fit. So you don't have to worry about being in your wall outlet. No, no, they don't. You can read my writing. All right. Because I probably cop copied and pasted for a little notes. So that's the thing with that. And then, of course, it plugs it in the back. It's got the ground plug. And it's got a switch to turn them on and off. But because they work on HomeKit, you can use HomeKit or you can use the uh, the, uh, the the Casa app. So I'm going to just bring up the Casa app really quick. Let's see. Uh, so what, this one here. Yep. And put our, our, our cute faces back up again. All right. So here it is. I've got it hooked up to our Allen air purifier. And uh, you can see it shows a picture of the of the outlet, right? And um, I can just press the button here and oop, press it. And now what it'll do is it'll shut it off. So now our house is no longer being air purified. Yep. Is that a bad that, thing? Yeah. Turn so, it back on. So I should turn it back on. But it's, it's that easy, right? You just go like that and you're all set. So... Very simple, very easy to use. Really I, easy to use. You can use this app. You can set them. You can put them on timers. You can do all kinds of stuff. Or you can use it with your favorite smart speaker. Or you can use it with HomeKit. That should be in. Or HomeKit. So let's see. Where is the HomeKit? What room would that be in? Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. HomeKit, HomeKit, HomeKit. Ooh, a lot of stuff in there. Oh, here we go. Oh, look at all those things I got in there. Look at that. All sorts of stuff in our house. Else there is smart me. Get that hooked up. Casa smart. So this one here says Casa smart. You say it says on. I can turn it off from here as well. So 
I use the app to turn it on and off, and I can use the I could think I heard, I, the, I heard the beep yeah, and they I turn this off back on. Or I can turn it back on with HomeKit. So it's really kind of nice because you get both options. And, you know, to me, you know, getting one that has HomeKit is great because you never know down the road you might end up with an iPhone or something like that and you want to have HomeKit. So a great little little thing. And it's nice with a four-pack because you don't have to run out. Yeah. So. so these are great. So these are great for everyone on your list. Like I said, you can buy them in one, two, or four-packs. And they work with Casa app and they're really nice and small. Yeah. I need, right. to, I need to automate that thing where I turn our screen back on and, and turn off the picture to picture automatically someday. As you figure out, you know, we have all these gadgets in our studio to run this thing. <laughs> and it's like you can make all these buttons and everything else and make it happen automatically. And of course, it takes time to, to test them all. All right. So, let so me let's move away. on to our next smart plug. Oh, which is that one? It's from SwitchBot. Oh, oh here they are. They're going to be right behind yeah. you. Yeah. All right, so actually SwitchBot is kind of new for us and the smart home market really now has changed so much that they could put out a whole huge line of products all out at once, or at least it seems like all at once. Anyway, we've got a whole bunch of them to test at once. Uh, so this is really neat. So we just started testing these SwitchBot devices and we have a video here um, in our, our storefront that you can look at to see the whole line. Um, but today we're just talking about these two different smart plugs. And these are pretty reasonably priced compared to the other ones, um, but they've got the same kind of functionality. They use Wi-Fi. One of them uses Wi-Fi and HomeKit. And what else is there about them? Well, so it's just so here's the thing. I think do you do energy monitoring or not? What does it say? They do energy monitoring. Both of these do energy monitoring, which is a little different, and they do 1875 watts. So a lot more wattage. You know, um, it's funny. You kind of you're probably sitting there going, "Why don't they know those numbers off the top of their head?" <laughs> That's because we got all these different ones. So it's always important to look at it because you really have to think about what you're plugging in and make sure this the the the, the plug you're getting will handle the device you're going to plug into it. So don't just plug anything in. Uh, make sure it's right now. The one here is Wi-Fi based and uh, Bluetooth, and this one here, I think it's Bluetooth in it, and this one here is the HomeKit. You see, you can't tell much difference in them, except for the little tag on the top, which uh, is the HomeKit uh, code where you just take your phone, scan it, and the thing gets installed. Um, to me, it, I think one, I'm not sure what the pricing is on it. That's but the... The right now these are on sale, of course, for the holiday. Right. Um, but the in, the one that is just Wi-Fi is eight ninety nine right now, and the HomeKit version is fourteen ninety nine right now. Right, so, so there's the, a little bit of a so price it's a difference. little bit more for this. Um, but to me, I think what you want to think about is this is the future one, and this is the previous one, right? So you got your choice. You know how you want to do it. They're both work equally well except this one will work with HomeKit. So that's and if you're that. buying these as a gift and you happen to know that the person on your list only uses a Android phone, then don't bother paying the extra for the HomeKit because they're never going to use it. Buy them this one. These are both really good, solid, smart plugs. Um, they both do energy monitoring using the SwitchBot app. And uh, they're really good choices. Actually, do I have the... Uh, I can. You know what I can do? I have the technology. Let me see if I have it here. Let me check on the Casa app. These are the Casa ones, right? Okay. Let me see. Casa and energy monitoring. Let's see. Nice info. It has that, but let's see. Now I'm trying to find on the energy monitoring side. Where's this? A timer schedule away. Oh, energy. Right there. Okay, let's put that back on. So that's the Casa one. We're showing the switch. Oh, box. I saw the switch. Box. Oops, sorry. That was the Casa. So the Casa one does what, have it. You can doing? see it. <laughs> I don't know. You know, see, it gets confusing for me. It here. can so, get confusing. Um, all right. So you want me to do a different one? Yeah. Um, switch bot. Switch bot. Oh yes, that's the yes one. All right, switch bot. Here we go. So do we have any of the plugs plugged in? Let's see. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to do, we're going to do things live while we're here. And um, I'm going to take one of these. I don't know which one I've installed. Or for free. What does it say? Uh, SwitchBot Plug Mini Home Kit. Right? Okay, we'll plug this in. I have my handy, uh, you can't see it off the camera, but I've got the handy power strip here. 
And when you're looking at the app over here, you can see the ones that are highlighted, they're there. And there's the plug already, all right? It says it's off and it's hooked up through Bluetooth at the, Bluetooth at the moment. But you can see in the bottom right, there is this, the hub for the uh, SwitchBot. Um, okay, so now here we are. We're connected to the device that shows you the power being used or whatever. And uh, what do I have that yeah. I can plug in? I got a light I could plug in. Let me go get a light. Hold on. You keep talking. I'll go get the light. The power monitoring is actually really interesting. So, you know, if you want to, if, if you want to plug one of these in and see how much power usage you're, you know, you're wasting on whatever it is, or well, I guess not wasting, maybe light. using it. It is really interesting to see the amount of power that certain things take. Well, we're going to find out how much this sucker takes. All right. So we're plugging it in. It's this huge lamp. It's giant with a tiny little bulb in it. Okay. So. Let's turn it on. It's now on. It is. And, yeah. Is this uh, thing on? But you got to turn this this little thing here, see, because it's... This is the problem. If you use a smart plug on something, but you have the switch on it off, it's still not going to turn on. <laughs> tangled in the, in the extension cord. You know, nothing, I love live because, you know, everything you do is, is out there. So look at that. It says it's using 0 0.01 kilowatts. It says, I don't know if you can read it, it says uh, 5.1 watts of power, and uh, the current is 0.1 amp, so not very, very much. Um, it's 119.2 volts, well, that's pretty nice, right? And uh, it wasn't on yesterday, so there's no numbers for yesterday, so that's a, that's a, that's pretty cool, huh? Yep, and it yeah. keeps the history over time, so this is really good if you want to learn more about how you're using your energy in your home and what devices use more power than others. So that's cool. So you see it turns off and when I turned it off, right, it says, okay, we're going to stop talking about the power. And then if I turn it back on, ta-da. So that's cool. Ta -da. So that's energy monitoring. I think energy monitoring is kind of a neat It's really neat. neat. Yep. Yep. All right. We're back. Okay. So us. those are the SwitchBot plugs. Like we said, they come in a regular one that is on sale right now for $8.99. This is the regular one, uh, and that works with Wi-Fi, or and works with the SwitchBot app, or with a smart speaker. And then okay, the one that there. Mark's trying to throw away over there That's right. okay. is the HomeKit version. So this also works with Wi-Fi, uh, but it also works with Apple HomeKit. So this is a great choice if uh, your the person on your list is a big Apple fan and uses iPhones and stuff like that, because they already have the home app on their phone. Okay, are we, are we done with, yes, I think we're done with switches, right? We are done with smart plugs and smart switches. So we're going to move on right now to smart cameras, because those are always a good gift for everybody on your list. A lot of people have something they want to keep an eye on. Maybe it's their garage or their backyard or their... Check this uh, out their vacation home or their child or their pet you know so smart cameras are really versatile and they're you know everybody has a use for one so they're a really great gift so we're going to talk about actually four different brands here of smart cameras they're all um, really reliable solid choices uh, for you to to get for yourself or to use as gifts and they all have kind of slightly different functions and uh, slightly different benefits so we're going to hopefully try to uh, cover the differences between those while we're doing this. So. Check it out. All right. So that one that Mark is playing with right now, this is the Wise Cam Pan version 2. This is the second generation of this Wise Cam. And um, that's why it's called version 2. It's on <laughs> sale right now for $29.98 here on Amazon, which is a pretty good deal. 40% off. You know, I know that we had Black Friday and Cyber Monday and all that stuff, but, you know, everything I've been reading said that sales are going to keep going until we get to Christmas and maybe through January. So, you know, don't think that you missed your window to get good deals on these products because they keep popping up every day. You just need to really watch, watch Amazon. So, so I got the camera hooked up. Look at it. It's looking at you. Hi. And then you can do things like this, where you can tell it to pan. I love this camera. This is the, this is the, the version two version, but so you can kind of pan. Yep. And ring so it this is here. neat. This is great for keeping an eye, like on your pets or your kids. Uh, if you have uh, somebody on your list has pets or has a new baby, this is a good camera for that. Um, it's indoor use only. I'm moving it around, and it doesn't like me. Well, you know, because it's on. <laughs> it has its own motor, so you don't have to worry about it. See. 
And so this will this will follow things. It's um, really you can auction. And if you're away from home and you want to see what's going on, you can get on use the Wise app and you can move that toggle around so you can see what's going on in the whole room. So it's really nice camera. So that's that one. And, this is and, and this uses high definition 1080p. And as you can see, it's got the, the motor in it, so it's uh, you can do it. I'll take it off here. So. And then this is the V3. This is the third generation of the Wise, original Wise Cam. Well, you know, I really don't like micro USB, but that's what we got. So let's see. You can plug that in. Yeah, you could plug this guy in. All right. And so this little guy, this got is it. the. Okay. That's all you got for cable, so careful. This is the Wise Cam version 3. Now you can use this indoor or outdoors. Uh, that's a new thing with this version of the camera. Uh, you can, it has a 1080p high definition camera and it has color night vision, two way audio, and what else? Well, this, is the, this is the thing, that's it. And it, of course it works. It of course works. it works with the Amazon Echo, Google Assistant, uh, also works with IFTT and the Wise app as we're showing you here. Yep. So well, actually you're not showing it. No, it hasn't hooked up yet. And you know, normally this sits in my office and I think it just takes time for it to kind of come back up. So So something that's a little bit different about these wise cams. Let me make sure. So I'm highlighting the version three here. So here we go. I was I was I was on the on the oh, app on the wrong oh. camera. Okay, so here it is. That's what it looks like. You're seeing what we're seeing. Same we're seeing the camera. Wait, wrong one. Let's see this one here. So we'll point it down because I don't think you want to look at those. These are great little cameras. They're really easy to use. They're really easy to connect with the Wise app. If you happen to have an Amazon Echo uh, show, excuse me, with or a Google, whatever, what are those Nest Hubs? That's what they're called. You're being watched on the camera. If you have a smart speaker with a screen, you can ask the smart speaker to show you your cameras and you can see them. That's really great. Uh, the one different thing about Wise is they do have a lot of really cool uh, um, artificial intelligence features where they have a human or what do they call it? Person detection, pet detection, vehicle detection. Does that, do I get all the detections? I think you got them all. But uh, the different thing about the wise camera is that those are really good features, but you do have to pay to use them. So there'll be an additional cost. Um, so that's something to know about the wise cameras, but we love them. We have them all over our house. Uh, we think they're really good solid choice. If you have a loved one who needs a smart camera in their life. Yeah, so this is pretty nice though, and it is indoors, outdoors, and it's got the little swivel base, so it's pretty nice. Yeah. All right, so that's the wise camera. That's the wise camera. So the next one we're going to show you, I don't even... Okay, the well, next one is, is the... Is the Casa. Can Spot, Casa, right? Yep, it's called the Spot. See, Spot. So that's the Spot. I'm going to plug him in too. I'll turn off the screen. Well, we don't need to see him anymore. Okay. There we go. Right. So this is the Casa uh, Spot, and an uh, interesting thing about this one compared to the one we just saw, this has a 2K resolution camera, so that just means it's uh, got you know, a nice, clear, a, a more clear, more high resolution picture than the ones we just showed you, because it's a 2K camera. So this can get a really nice clear picture of whatever you're trying to look at, and uh, this one has a. Um, also has two-way audio and night vision, and it does this really cool thing called patrol mode. It's doing, it's setting, it's, it's setting it up ready. right now. You can see that it's moving there. And this little Casa Spot camera, you basically you tell it the area you want it to patrol, and you tell it when you want it to do it using the Casa app, and it goes on patrol. So I think it's now back up and running now that we've been doing the thing. So now let's see, we'll switch over to that. And uh, okay, there's the spot, and you see, I can control it from here. I can turn it on and off, of course, but let's turn it on here. And again, here we are, boom! And you can just see the difference in, in the picture image, right? Yeah, it's the picture is, is a lot clearer than the wise one because it's got a higher resolution camera. And if I recall, it should follow my hand, right? And these one, these cameras that do the the motion tracking or patrol mode or pan and tilt, whatever you call it. These are really great for pets and for babies because it moves with them. With them, so you can see, see? what's going on. It's moving a, my hand because I gave it motion. It works a lot better if you're a distance away, but let's see. 
So I catch my hand and then move it and the camera should follow me. Isn't that cool? Yeah. <laughs> so I love that whole thing. And then the patrol mode's kind of neat. So it just goes back and forth. If you look on the top of the app here, there's three little pictures. They're obviously difficult to read, but they're basically three points in our living room. And the camera goes between each of those three points over time. It's back and forth. And it's got a little algorithm on how to do it. And everything. Since you see it doing it right now, it's going through and it's going through those patrol points. And it loiters for a little while, then it moves on. And if it catches any motion, like it did with my hand, then what it's going to do is it's going to follow that motion. I mean, this is this is really cool tech. Yeah, you and, can see uh, it keeps... And it works at night. I mean, yeah. even at, like we go in the living room at night and... Uh, like we do the video on this thing, right? And you go over a night and it has an infrared camera and just picks you up and uh, and follows you along. So it's, right. it's pretty wild. So that's the that's that one. That's the Casa. All okay, right. now we're gonna switch gears to another one of the smart home brands that we like. The SwitchBot. Okay, I think there's two here. There's it? two SwitchBots that we have here in the carousel. Oh, by the way, one of the things to keep in mind with these cameras, a lot of them have a spot for an SD card, like a micro SD card. So we like that in the cameras because, you know, you can either record to the camera that way or, I should say, and or to the cloud services. So when you're looking at cameras, just see if it's going to have an SD card slot and whether or not it comes with it or not. If it doesn't come with it, you have to make sure you order one to go with it. So these are the two guys here. Yep, so the first one that I highlighted down here in the carousel, this is the SwitchBot security indoor cam and this is really small it's got this cute little base and uh, it's on sale right now for $23.99 that's a really great deal uh, so this is a really nice camera uh, for you know for anyone who needs a camera in your life maybe that's you a camera in your life it's very very lightweight it's small so you can put it somewhere or maybe you want to hide it somewhere somebody hey, doesn't see it so you know one of the things we didn't talk about with the smart plugs is that so one of the things we do is that we don't want the cameras on that are inside the house while we're home. So we have a little routine set up that says we plug in the cameras, you know, the USB plug into uh, a smart outlet. And then we have a program. So we leave the house. We can say, you know, to the, to the Echo, we can say, hey, turn on inside cameras. And then all the inside camera smart plugs turn on and thereby turning on the cameras. And so it's kind of a neat way to... Have a little bit of privacy. Yeah, if you're you know, worried about somebody spying on you when you're away. So we have a question from Duke. And can you bring up the questions, I can. by the I way? I can bring up the questions. All right. And the question from Duke. Well, you better refresh because I don't see. Oh, there, there it is. There it just came up. What's the difference between the Casa Smart Plug Mini Apple HomeKit 4-pack for $39.99 and the Casa Smart Plug Mini 4-pack 2022-76? It looks the same. Oh, okay. So that's the thing that there's a home kit version and a not home conversion. So I think what you're talking about is the mini home kit version is more money than the mini straight mini. So there's two models and that's what we have in the carousel. Why don't you show so them? So it's I think, do we have both models in the carousel? I don't think I have. Uh, it's an older model, I think. Oh, that's, yeah. yeah. So there's a, you can get a model without the, we don't, we recommend the one with the home kit. But yeah, if they have another model over there that doesn't have comb kit, it's the same kind of idea. What you want to check and make sure of is does that other model that's less money in, in your, your example, does it do energy monitoring if that's something you want? And does it handle the wattage that you want? So just take a look at the specs and compare those two things. Otherwise, they're probably pretty yeah. much the same. You, as you can see with all the home kit devices we've shown you, they do come at a little bit of a premium. So that's probably accounts for most of the difference for that one. And that other smart plug, the four pack, might actually be on sale as well. But so. I, haven't, I haven't looked at the. So I have to look at the. I have to look at the model because, you know, they've had different models over time. Like we have an older Casa one that's kind of big. So just watch that. Make sure that's the right size. Right. This one here. Um, what'd you do with it? Um, the smart plug here, these things can be stacked on the one outlet, whereas the older, one of the older models we have in the house, um, this still works great, but it's big and it takes up two outlets. So yeah. just yep. be so, careful of that when, you, so when you're looking that at the helps. plug. Thank you for your question, Duke. We that, appreciate that's it. That's awesome. Okay, so I've got the pan and tilt guy over here. All right, so let's get back to our SwitchBot cameras here. Okay, let's 
See, All right, so actually SwitchBot calls this one a baby monitor, but it's a pan and tilt camera. So you can use it for your baby, you can use it for your pet, you can use it for something okay. else. It doesn't, it's not just a baby monitor. It's not a specific baby monitor, it's a camera. Yep, so there's the there's the picture from it. Right? Is that the right one? I got the right one on there, right? So I'm manually doing it, but I can also go in here and see is it in HD. The sound's off, that's good. And so this one is also 2K, so it's got a pretty nice resolution. And it also does pan and tilt. Oh, and you moved well, it. Well, yeah, but I think that, I don't think I can make this thing rotate on our pictures. I don't think the screen, you know, the Apple doesn't rotate. So you're going to see me doing this from here. So uh, let me go back to um, back to the other one. Um, yeah, there's your pan and tilt. So you see you can kind of, you can adjust things with the pan and tilt on this thing as well. And uh, it's got the thing on the screen for it. Nobody wants to see your arm. Oh, why not? <laughs> I, got a, I got a nice watch on it. I mean, come on. So you can see how good it is. But I'm going to go back to the other mode. All right. Let's see. Because it's showing it. You know, you can't really tell. And um, yep. this, so that's... And this SwitchBot camera. The nice thing about these two SwitchBot cameras, if you have... If you have someone on your list, uh, or this might be yourself, if you want to do something a little bit more sophisticated, SwitchBot has a whole line of smart motion sensors and things that you can pair up with these cameras. And you can do a lot a lot more interesting things. Like you can say, I want the camera to look over to the door every time the door opens, those kind of things. Now, you would have to buy additional products for that. Uh, we don't have them here in the carousel, but we did do a video on the over all the SwitchBot products that you can find on our storefront. And look at this. This thing does that follow thing. Look at my hand over here. And it's following my hand. All right. And this is the thing you want to look at in these cameras. You know, what kind of cool features they have if you need those. Like if this was used as a baby camera, like I think it's in the title as well, right? Right. And uh, it's great because it's going to follow the baby. And, but if you, know. you don't need that and you just want to watch something that's static, you can use this little, small, very much cheaper SwitchBot camera. But it's also, I think, only 1080p, correct? Yep, it's yep. only 1080p. So this one so here. So we have one more camera to cover, and we have five minutes. Five minutes? All right, oh, so man. in this case, we wanted to bring up the uh, Eufy camera. Now, we use a lot of Eufy products, uh, and this is one that we really like. Uh, we really like Eufy because they don't require you to buy a cloud subscription, which is nice because that can add up, and, and uh, you might not want to keep your stuff in the cloud because you're worried about somebody having access to your videos. So we really like the Eufy line of cameras and this is, they call it their solo line. It's also on sale right now. It's 22% off. So it's $33 and something. Uh, so this is a is a great camera. Uh, this is a 2K camera like the, the one we just looked at. Are you bringing that guy? I'm totally here? bringing it up. It's uh, not there yet. It's still still blue. It's got to get uh, get itself brought up. Right. I think it's up now. There it is. Let me switch over and we'll put and our a pretty face in we here. We really like these Eufy cameras. Oh, that oh, that's weird. That's cute. Look at that. Look at that. that was go. neat. Okay. So here it is on the screen. I'm going to just bring it up. And uh, the previous picture you saw, because they, they always these apps always show the last picture it saw, was our courtyard where we normally have that. But uh, we have it looking out a window. Um, but there it is. There's, there it is. It's pretty. It's pretty clear. It's pretty nice. But again, this is just you know you're the you're the pan and tilt. Yeah, <laughs> a, it doesn't move on its own. So uh, you can position it. You can position it up or down depending on how you want to record it. But then it's going to stay static and record yeah. that way. And it does have a, a SD card for it. Now this one does not work with the Eufy home base. So just keep in mind you're either going to use the SD card or you're going to subscribe to their cloud. We One thing we like about Eufy is you can always do things locally. I mean, I don't Which think there's anything nice. we have that doesn't. And this one also works with Apple HomeKit. Now, uh, what's interesting about that is Apple HomeKit only supports 1080p resolution. So you don't get the advantage of the 2K camera. But if you or your loved one is a HomeKit user, they'll love the ability to see the uh, these cameras right in their home app and then if they have an Apple TV they can see them there which is pretty neat yeah so that's and that's pretty cool so and you probably saw when I was uh, showing this you see it's all integrated apps you know we've got other things as well like a garage door opener and a, a doorbell and everything else so you know when you get it 
a lot of these these things you get, you know, they're always some sort of what we call an ecosystem or a grouping of the different products they might have. And Eufy's another one that has various different cameras and other things that you can hook together. So now that's the, All that's right. that. Okay, right. so we are running out of time. Well, we got we can take a couple extra minutes. We can take we? a couple extra minutes, I guess. All right. Um, but the other thing that we have here in the carousel is that, you know, these are the, these are the echo devices we like to run our smart home in our house. So um, Stuck our ways we up. have a few different ones here. And so these might be good gifts for you or for people on your list. So I'm going to work and see. That All one's right. plugged in. I know. It's because it's live. Look, it's now 4.57. We can talk at least three minutes about this. All right. So this one's kind of nice. This is called the Echo this is the Echo Dot, Dot. with we have, clock. We have been recommending Echo Dots on our holiday gift guide since they came out. Yeah, yeah. Because they're really nice, they're small, they don't have any cameras on them, and they help you control your smart home. So we really love these Echo Dots. Now, the one we have here in the carousel is the all-new Echo Dot. Yeah, but before we do that, Duke had another question. Says, oh. Another question, please. Which smart plug do you like better, the SwitchBot or the Casa? Well, I'll tell you, my answer from a technical perspective is I like them both. I think they're both really good. I would definitely get the, the home kit version of either one. Yeah, because we and Apple people. Apple people. But you have to think about, what are, are you going to get other things from Casa or are you going to get other things, smart things from uh, SwitchBot? So pick what you want to do and the, and those models is pick what which ecosystem you want to go with, Casa or SwitchBot. And, uh, you know, we, we did, a, you probably can see some behind us here, we, we uh, looked at a lot of the different things that come in the SwitchBot line, and we've been doing things with the Casa line as well. They're both very good. I, I, did, I don't think I could tell you buy one or the other. Think about what else you'd want to get. Like, do you want to get the Casa camera or the SwitchBot camera, for example, or other things that they might have in their product line? And if you're just using these smart plugs with your Amazon Echo and you don't have any plans to buy other devices right now, you're not sure, you can use either one. I would get the one, frankly, that's cheaper if that's important to you. <laughs> yeah, just keep in mind, if you get the Casa one and or or the other one, it's that as, that's the app you're going to use with that particular device. So then if you later get something from the other, other brand, you're going to have to get their app and you'll have two apps. Yeah, but if you use these with your Amazon Echo or your Google Assistant, you might never use the you, app. Well, yeah, and that, that's the equalizer, right? So if you do it with these things, which we always do, I think we showed you earlier, then it doesn't matter, right? Because you're going to tell this lady here to go do the switch on and off or whatever else. So just keep that in mind. I hope, I hope, hope Duke, we answered your question on that one. Um, the other thing, two things, we got the Echo Show 5, right? Yep. Which is... Which oh, one here. That one there. So we really like this Echo Show 5. Um, we consider this kind of like our bedroom Echo, which is kind of weird. Uh, it ha does have a screen, but you can also turn the camera off. You know, I made that red there if you don't like having a camera in your room. Um, and when it's on, it's got a really nice uh, small display and it shows the clock. Uh, it'll show you the weather and it'll show you things on the display, which is really nice. So we, but this is where we use it. We use it as kind of a bedroom Echo. <clears throat> well, that one's actually for my office. Well, you have one in your office too. Yes. So give you an idea. Valerie has one similar to this in her office. It has no screen on it. I have another Echo Show 5. Actually, this Echo Show 5 in my office. I took that one there. And when we need to communicate with each other, she's in her office, I'm in mine. There were two different floors. Uh, you can just say, hey, uh, hey, Echo, you know, drop in on, on Valerie. And then it hooks up to hers. And... If she were to be using one of the other, well, like if she was in the kitchen where we put this big one, we could actually see each other, which is kind of cool. But you could definitely talk to each other. So that's kind of neat. And you already mentioned about the, the physical shutter, right? To, right. to turn, the, turn the camera on. But yeah. And then this one here, the big one. Ugh, the reason why it's big is this. A, it's it's got a heavy base so that it doesn't tip over. And it's got a big speaker. So this sounds really good. If you're looking for something that sounds really good and has a big screen, and the camera, and it's a 13 megapixel camera, I think. Yeah. It'll follow you. <laughs> this is crazy. If you're like in the kitchen, you're walking from one side to the other, and this thing's on, let's say we're talking to each other, it, the camera will follow you and, and swivel this thing automatically. It doesn't swivel it this way. You've got to manually tilt it, but it does automatically move in this direction. And it's got an awesome looking screen. It's a, What's the resolution of the screen? I think it's a, is it 1920? Mm -hmm. 
The last page. It is uh, 1280 by 800. So 1280 by 800, that's pretty good. It's like a, kind of like a 720p TV, mm -hmm. you know? So real clear display, uh, nice size, 10.1 inch, I believe. Uh, so it's really nice. It has volume buttons on it. You can also mute it. Uh, and it also has a switch to, to turn off the camera as well on the top. So this is kind of, you know, this is what we use in our kitchen. You know, it's kind of a, the big central echo with the screen. And we really like it. Uh, it's really great to... Uh, look at recipes and oh, yeah, that's watch really nice. videos if you want on it because it's got this nice big screen. Uh, so we really like it. Also has a, a Zigbee hub built in, which just means you can run a lot of other different like, smart home devices like the Zigbee Switch, Zig, the Zig, third, Zig, third reality, third reality switch. switch. You can hook so it up. This gives you more flexibility if you want to add more devices into your house without having to buy a separate, a separate hub. A separate that's hub. So good. Go, do me a favor. Go back to the uh, clock one. Yeah, this clock one is, um, this one we have is actually... Fourth generation. Fourth generation. The one that they have now is the fifth generation. And I, I couldn't even find this on there. Yeah, I think it, it, it brings you, you right You can buy there. a lot of old Echoes on Amazon. Yeah, but I, when you go one. to the page for the Echo with clock, you're going to see the one we're showing here. And it says on there that this is now the newer one. And it's nice because it not just, it, you can have it not just show you the clock, it'll also show you the weather. And uh, the name of the music. The name playing. of the song that you're playing if you're listening to music. Right. And so this is a there lot. There's something else on there I thought was interesting, else. wasn't it? What oh, else the, is the new temperature about thing. Oh. oh, it has a temperature sensor inside, which is really nice to be able to know the temperature in different rooms. Hey, Duke, thanks for following. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, and then the other thing that's really neat about this is that uh, Amazon sells a, uh, a Wi-Fi router called the Eero, which is a mesh router. And this... Um, well, the, the this fifth one. generation the version. The fifth generation one that's in the carousel, you can use that as an extender to that Eero mesh router, which is really neat. That's cool. I think it's, it's, really it's kind of cool. Now, it's only 100 megabits per second, I think, uh, mm -hmm. for the extension. Yeah, 100 megabits per second. So the Eero's are a lot faster than that. But as an extender, you know, you, I don't know if you've ever seen these things. You plug into the wall outlet and extend your Wi-Fi network. It's always handy if you happen to put a smart doorbell in. Um, but what's neat about that is about the fifth generation of this is because it has the extender built in, if you're hooking up things like a doorbell or something like that, this is going to help you get yeah, clearer. You have to use it with the Eero. It's with not, the Eero. It's only good. Yeah, that feature's only good with the Eero. But the temperature, bro. I, the we, temperature we, sensor is really we, neat. Uh, we're gonna I don't even think that we noticed that till <laughs> just before we <laughs> did our live, on the air, live show know. today. So these are three different kinds of Echoes. They have a lot of different ones. The, the Dot um, and this one, the, the Show 5, they come in kids' editions, which have some extra parental controls, and they have some really cool little skins on them. So yeah, they look like... Really cool dragon so, and stuff like that so those are really neat and then this one is last year's model actually but it's, it's still the latest it's, it's, the, latest, it's the latest version of it so um yeah maybe so you want a screen or no screen but yeah so i think we've kind of covered a lot of things right we covered uh, a smart sprinkler right the the, the uh, beehive right mm -hmm. for that yeah um we also uh covered uh third realities uh switches that actually don't require any wiring and they, you screw them onto the wall plate and uh, you can control any switch you have um, and then what else did we cover on that? We thing? covered three different brands of smart plugs. We covered the Wise, the Casa, and the SwitchBot. And we think these are all really solid choices. Yeah, and by the way, we'll go back because the Wise had the outdoor plug as well. Oh, and then the Wise has an yeah, outdoor, the outdoor plug. plug, which is really, those are really handy because then you got both things covered. So, Duke, if you're looking to, to do things, the Wise has the outdoor. Keep going. I think there's a Casa outdoor. There's a Casa outdoor too. We don't have the Casa outdoor. That's why we didn't show it today. But always look for those things. You know, if you got an indoor plug, there's probably an outdoor plug available. And uh, then we talked about the SwitchBot smart plugs. Now these are really nice. Right. Then we talked about cameras, smart cameras. We covered four different brands of smart cameras. And we recommend any of these. These are really good choices. Uh, so we've got the WiseCam V3, the WiseCam Pan. I don't know. Maybe I'm making you guys dizzy because I'm kind of <laughs> going through, through these pretty fast. Uh, the Casa Smart 2K uh, camera. This is a pan and tilt camera. The SwitchBot. Now it says baby monitor, but this is a pan and tilt camera, so you can monitor anything you want with it, including your baby. The S SwitchBot security cam. This is the small stationary cam we showed you. And the Eufy security solo cam. 
Now, I got to tell you guys, we have all these operating in our house. So like, you know, down in our living room, we have the Wise Campaign. He, he patrols when we're not home, goes back and forth and looks for things. We've got the Casa Spot sitting in there as well, covering a different angle. He's looking around everywhere. Uh, we have another campaign, an older version, but they do the same thing in another room. So, uh, and then we look out the window with our, uh, with the Eufy cam. So it's pretty cool. And the uh, SwitchBot cams, we're trying to figure out where to put them now, right? We've, we've <laughs> tested them. We know we like them. But now we got to say, okay, wait a minute. We got, how, how many rooms do we need to put cameras in? So we like them all. So if you're seeing them on our show, we like them. We, we really think they're really good to have. And you just have to make the decision of, you know, what you like best and it fits your needs. Because that's really, the, at the end, that's what it comes down to. Yeah. What features do you want? Cameras especially, do you want it to be local recording? Do you want it out to the cloud, which usually costs money, uh, extra money? Do you want smart, you know, does it find, a, if it sees a person? Because they're, the cool thing in cameras is if it's just motion, then the leaves uh, rustling or whatever else will trigger the camera. But if they have intelligence, artificial intelligence, like for people detection or pet detection, then it will only trigger and record when those events occur. Yeah, so, and actually all of these cameras have some level of that. You, know, you might have to pay extra for better well, why is you certainly have to but it. Yeah. they all have that, and we think that's you know these are all solid choices. Uh, if somebody on your list already has, maybe they already have a Casa plug, and you already know that, maybe they want to get a Casa cam, or maybe you know they already have some Wise cams, maybe you would get them a Wise plug. Um, but other than that, we really think these are all very solid choices for uh, the beginner smart home person, um, and you know also they can do a lot more sophisticated things. Look at the time. It's 5.08, so thank 508. you for staying with us because we went over time a little bit here. Uh, but we really appreciate you joining us today, and thank you for all your questions. And um, again, if you're still here and you haven't followed us yet, we'd really appreciate it so we can bring you some more live streams. And uh, we'll probably be back sometime next week. We're kind of playing with the Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday to try to figure out which one we like best. I think so. we had to compete against football on Thursday. Yeah, so. we thought competing against football was kind of a bad idea. Yeah. So, uh, so that's, at least that through good. the football season, we'll probably be either on a Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, but if you follow us, you'll find out the next time we do a live stream. And remember that you can always go to our shop on, on Amazon and the live streams are listed there. And plus, since you've now subscribed to, uh, you know, if you're following us, uh, they'll show up on your, your live streams uh, console on your uh, Amazon.com. So it's all there, the ways to get to it. And always keep checking on our, our uh, page because... We're always checking new products. You know, the people send us things or we buy something, we'll put them on those pages and categorize them and show them. And a lot of them, we end up doing videos. So uh, you kind of have both. So, so great. Right. Thank you so it. much for joining and we really appreciate it. And have a happy holiday. Thank you. Thank you.